<clears throat> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mars coming at you over the interwaves with another StarCraft 2 cast. This one not sent out to Reddit cast it, which is my normal intro. That's why I started with it, even though I managed to catch a hold of my brain early enough to figure out I should say not. Uh, I got this one off GT Tracker. It is love uh, on this side from HTPK which I'm assuming is a thing. And I was pretty sure this wasn't the actual Root Cats because it said it was a Masters game. And I think Cats is a grand, Grandmaster. But I guess it's a Cats game. I'm assuming it's hard to get this tag. I don't know. So over here, Root Cats. Or... Pop... Uh, I don't know. You've got a real name. I don't know it. We've got Love scouting to see what his opponent is up to with a SCV which isn't completely slow. Ah, uh, we've got Cats doing the same with something not quite as fast. Love going for a CC first, whereas Cats did the same with regards to Hatch first. Getting his spawning pool up and in the meantime Love, I was about to say, starts his barrack. Love scouts the lack of a third base by the timing and if this is master grandmaster sort of level he should know there is a second second a natural down here which he does confirm and in the meantime cat sees nothing other than an scv in his base and no proxy buildings here which is at least a little bit useful getting a bit of a later gas and with this Spawning pool done. He starts queen. There we go. Uh, two barracks. Okay, two barracks for love. So, tennis jokes just waiting to be made here. More drones. Four cats. Gets two queens. And I've got a barking dog. Is Love just scouting here for something, or is he going to proxy anything? Because he hasn't, like, what you usually proxy as a Terran is, is a Stargate. But he hasn't so much as built a factory yet, that's just only now starting. So, other than waiting here to go back to scout, I'm not entirely sure what he's doing here. We've got Lair coming in for cats on this base and not this base, which is uh, a choice, I suppose. And Love is slowly saturating this second as well as he starts a tech lab and a reactor and a factory. This Overlord hasn't really seen too much, but he did manage to get this little front and sees that natural with this Overlord. So Katz sort of knows what's happening right here. Uh, so let's talk about map. Dusk Towers lends itself to macro games generally. Uh, I say that having recently been DT rushed here. I believe I was dead within four minutes. But generally, on a scale of general generality, macro games do tend to flourish here. And there's no cheeky rush coming out from either player, although I thought that Katz hasn't taken the third yet. Hmm. Investor infestation pit, the quick hive. What are we getting? Are we getting quick ultralisks? What are we doing? Um, in the meantime, we well, we're still not getting a proxy stargate here, and we've got two hellions sent out to scout. Yep, early hive, right? Well, that's Certainly a thing. Root Cats together with Dario Tielo Wunsch, uh, known for creative play, as it is often, um, you know, nicely called. Weird play is a very, very similar uh, connotation, but, uh, you know, less positive. 
does scout the lack of a third and should possibly be worried for two base spire do he, what does he do no he doesn't start his things he isn't scanned yet either so no nope. hasn't done anything of this moves this one nope not at all all right but cats does see it and moving in there and now we've got oh a hellion marauder push that murders a whole bunch of stuff uh but let's see what does he have so far in investors really okay well there we go investors and queens and a spine crawler versus a bunch of hellions and marauders i bid thee good luck if love were to move in here with his 43 army supply against 18 yep hellbats as well oh well the investors can certainly keep him in place that is a lot of queens actually and keep that in place yep there you go there is your fungal growth and again nope doesn't have enough for a second one but those queens do in infuse each other just fine and everything lives i was not expecting that What, what can I say? I was not expecting that. Uh, we still do have some energy on these queens for transfusions, but uh, yeah. Getting less. Three Ultralisks on the other hand, which he doesn't know yet because the Ultralisk then is there. And no third on the way for the Terran yet either. I wouldn't, I, I probably wouldn't do that either. Uh, you generally want to be one base ahead as a Zerg player. And if as a Terran player you know your Zerg isn't one base ahead, something your way cometh, as the saying goes. And what could that be? Well, he's certainly uh, wary of either... Uh, Mutalisk, no, he hasn't built any uh, missile turrets yet. And what else is the Liberator again, uh, good against? Well, pretty much everything, to be to be perfectly honest. But Ultralisks. Ultralisks have a awful lot of armor. Uh, right now, he's only got one, but he's about to get two. And then this is another two, so uh, four. And that means uh, a lot of damage does get reduced. But the Liberator, Liberation Zone does something in the order of magnitude of a lot. 80? Is it 80? It's something like, no, it's 90 actually. So if you reduce that by, you know, 4, eh, eh, you'll still kill him. You got 500 hit points to go through, but as Katz does move up there, shows the Ultralisk and shows the armor, but uh, yeah nothing much is going to come of that as love is in a very defensible position and the third being uh, built for the Terran and for the thing as he does actually move in to the liberation zone in order to take care of a number of marauders and uh, there he goes on the bunker two bunkers down Oh, Ultralist still alive as the uh, Queens get in position to transfuse, transported there by these overlords. Sure, why not? And now you move them in there and move them to your uh, your opponent's natural base. I know, I, I, I fully agree with that. Put this in play with a creep tumor just to make sure that uh, your opponent is in fact not taking that third base anytime soon. As we get to play, where in which Overlord is the Ultralisk? Which is an old game that uh, used to be played by Total Biscuit, if I'm not mistaken. And there goes the Queens down again for the transfuses. Marauder stemming forth to take care of one Queen as he kites the Ultralisk into the main base. Uh, in the meantime, he's taking this third base and he can drone up there if he so chooses. There goes that Liberator, but with three Queens that should actually die. Not in time uh, to fully save all of his Queens, but he can transfuse that one. 
Oh, no, and there we go. There you go, the two things. The two... Oop, those things. Back away again, and in the meantime, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six Ultras. And really, you're not really going anywhere. And in which of these overlords is the Ultra? Which one do you want to shoot down with your two Marines? <laughs> well, that one apparently. Look at that. <laughs> And yeah, with building all these marauders, he doesn't actually have anything to kill the overlords carrying them, so he can just pick it up and move away. <laughs> uh, taking forth this SCV does spot that, but what is he going to do about it? We've got a, a supply cap route cats with 80 army supply, of which a lot are ultralisk, which, well, you know, the, the, the liberators deal with that quite well but not if you move into five queens because that's just not going to really do anything for you uh, look at that moving in you're like yeah that's 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 not going to do anything for me three command centers but what are you going to do with them instead opting to move out to counter drop and cats has all the time in the world to send a couple of things back to deal with it two full medevacs We've got two Ultralisks moving back. Yes, yes we are. We've got an Ultralisk here, ready to guard a couple of Queens to shoot down that pesky medevac. And may lose this if he's not, you know, if he doesn't just decide to put these two Ultralisks there. Nope, nope, you're not going to come there. And move into the queen range yes does move this base but he knows his opponent is on two bases can afford to do this as he moves in to his opponent's natural again does he kill the natural no he doesn't lifts it lifts it up just in time and again transfuses those ultralisks that they just don't die they just don't die there goes one of them there goes the other, but there goes the natural as well, and we have four queens here, and nothing, that shoots up, nope, I take that back, there's a marine, look at that, look at that health, oh, yeah, that's, that's, yep, yeah, that's not going to work, so we have one drop here, we've got three mining bases, four cats, well, two of them are kind of low, I suppose, really should take a third, Tried to go to the gold base, but uh, there is an overlord creeping that up and moves his army down into the waiting Kaiser blade of the Ultralist. You don't really want to go up there? Well, no, no, it's 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 enough brute force to do that. It's a horrible choke, but it is enough as he does move his SCVs in there, and that's not what you're signing up for when you are an SCV. And Z Z Z.